Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can build this My Wikipedia application. Here we can search anything just like you search it on Wikipedia. So if I search about Python and from here we can select in which language you want the result. If I select Hindi from here and then on clicking the search button I am getting Python information in Hindi language right now I am going to search what is programming in French so here I am getting information about programming language this way you can search anything in any language if you want to edit some text from here then we have this edit button and here we can change this question to answer or whatever you want to edit you can do that then we have this copy button it will simply copy everything from here and I can paste that on notepad and then we have this clear button it will simply clear everything from here and suppose you search for any information Guido Van Rossum so he is the person who created python programming language and if you don't select any language from here and directly click on the search button you will be getting information in english language by default Let's start building this mini project step by step from scratch. So I am going to use PyCharm for writing my code. I hope in your system Python and PyCharm is installed. If not, you can check the link given in the description of this video. Firstly, I am going to create a new file. It will be a Python file and I will give a name to this Python file main. So inside this main1.py file I have my original project if I run this. So firstly we have to create a GUI window. Then we will provide title to it and will change the background color. After that we have to create this label frame search wikipedia. And inside this label frame we will add this entry field combo box and this search button. So let's create these things first. So for creating the GUI part, I will be using TK Inter module, which is inbuilt in Python. So we just need to import it from TK Inter import asterisk. This line means that we are importing all the classes and the methods which are present inside this TK Inter module. After that, we need to create our window. So these two lines will help you to create your window. Here I have created the object of the TK class and then I have used one of the method of this class. This method simply help us to keep our window on a loop so that we are able to see that window continuously like this. Now let's provide some width and the height to it. I have used this geometry method to provide width and the height. Here 700 is the width, this 670 is the height. 200 is the distance from the x-axis and 10 is the distance from the y-axis. Now let's set the title and the background color. Title can be set with the help of title method. Here you need to pass the title in the form of a string. The color can be set with the help of config method. Here you have to pass bg keyword argument and the value will be the color name. You can check on Google which colors you can apply with this TK enter. Let's see. So this is red four color and here you can see the title. Now we have to create search Wikipedia label frame inside which we will be adding entry field, combo box and search button. So here I have created this label frame. For creating a label frame, you have to use this label frame class. You have to create object of this class. Then where you want this class, I want this on my window. So we have to pass root object here. Then what will be the text on the label of this frame? It will be search Wikipedia. Then I will provide font for this text. 
then I will set the background color as brown 3 this is another color that we can use with this decanter and then this is the text color after creating the label we have to place this on our screen for that I have used this pack method of this label frame class so when you use pack method for the first time this label frame will appear at the top in the center in our window I have also added vertical spacing pad y equals to 10 and horizontal spacing pad x equals to 10 if I run this you will not be able to see this label frame because we have not added anything inside this frame so now let's add entry field inside this label frame this is a one line text field and is created with the help of entry class here also we have to create object of this entry class and to this entry class we have to pass where you want this entry field so I want this entry field inside my label frame right then whatever text that you will write inside this entry field will be in this font after that I have provided width to this entry field and then at last I have packed this entry field here also I have provided vertical spacing and horizontal spacing pad x and pad y value let's see this is our label frame and inside this label frame I have added this one line text field and whatever text you are typing this is in Helvetica style just below this we have to create a combo box so this combo box class is present inside this TTK module so we need to firstly import it and the way of importing it is from tkinter import TTK so this TTK module is simply the extension of this tkinter module and can be imported with the help of this tkinter module so with the help of this module I have created object of combo box class which is combo box here then I added this combo box inside my label frame I have set the font for the text then the text will appear at the center with the help of this justify keyword argument then I have added the width as 15 and made the state to read only you will only be able to read but will not be able to change any values inside this combo box if I run it so this is how it looks right now I have not added any value inside this combo box so let's do it so inside this combo box the values can be added like this if I add my name then surname let's see so inside it you will see my name and the surname right two options in this original project inside this combo box I have added all these languages here so let's firstly get all these languages with the help of one external module which is Google Trans so let's install it go to your terminal here type pip install Google Trans I have already installed it once you install it we can import it now we have to get all the languages inside a variable so here I have used the module dot languages and this will return all the languages in the form of a dictionary and that I have stored inside this lang underscore dict variable if you print this variable you will see all the languages in the form of a dictionary so here we are getting our dictionary right this shorthand of a language is the key here and the language name is the value here so inside that combo box we will be inserting all these values only the names of the languages not the shorthands for that I'm going to use list comprehension here instead of this list here lang dict dot values will return all the values of a dictionary all these language names we will iterate through that and inside this e variable we will be getting all the languages and that languages will be added inside this list and will be assigned 
to this combo box let's see now if you see we are getting all the language names here here by default nothing is displayed but in this original project select language is set so i'm going to use this combo box object variable dot set method and i'll set the text as select language if i run now you are able to see the select language text there right and you can select any language of your choice and then after this combo box we have to create this search button so for creating a button i have used a button class i have created its object then i have passed where i want this button i want this button inside my label frame then i have added text on this button i have provided font for this text and then i have set the text color as white and the background color as red 4 then i have packed this button i provided pad x value and pad y value let's see now i will be creating another frame inside that frame i will be adding the text area and on that text area on the right hand side i will attach a scroll bar so just after the search button i have created this my frame and i have added this my frame inside this my label frame let me remove the print statement that we used here now inside this frame we will be adding a scroll bar which will be attached to the text area so for creating a scroll bar we can use this scroll bar class we just have to create object of it then i mentioned where i want this scroll bar i want this scroll bar inside this frame then i packed it on the right hand side and filled the complete y axis so this scroll bar will be filled completely on the y axis of this my frame so this is how our scroll bar looks like now let's add text area so we have to use text class here it will be inside my frame then i added this y scroll command basically i am trying to set this scroll bar with this text area so this is the way you set the scroll bar with your text area then i added this wrap equals to word this will help a word to go to a new line instead of each character is going to a new line then i added font for the text i provided height background color text color and made the state disabled so you will not be able to type inside this text area then i simply pack this text area so this is how this text area looks like right now it's disabled so you will not be able to type anything and this scroll bar is set with this text area now let's add these three buttons edit copy and clear i will be adding buttons in a separate frame which is this button frame and this button frame will also be inside my label frame then i have set the background color for this button frame and then i simply packed it this is our edit button this is inside our button frame the text is edit here then i provided font for the text text color and the background color now instead of using pack method this time i'm using grid method to add this button on our window i want to add three buttons inside this button frame and that two next to each other so that is why i'm using this grid method it helps to add easily we just have to provide row and the column value since this is the first button getting added inside this button frame so the row will be zero and the column will also be zero then this copy button will be at row zero only and the column here will be changed to one because this button has to be just next to this edit button and at last we have this clear button here the column value will be changed to two row will remain zero only so our gui part is ready i will firstly add the functionality for this search button so whatever topic i will write here and then whatever language i will select from here and then when i'll click on this search button i should be getting the result in arabic language 
so to this search button i'm going to provide a command equals to search this is a function that we need to define so whenever you will be clicking the search button this search function will be called let's define this function i will define this function at the top just after these import lines so i'll write def search inside this function firstly let me print something so whenever i will be clicking on the search button you will see hello getting printed on the console like this so whatever code that you are going to write inside this search function that code will be executed whenever you will click on the search button instead of printing hello i want to get the question that you will be writing on the entry field so i'm going to use the entry field object to get the question from the entry field so i'll write my entry dot get method whatever you will write on the entry field that i will store in some variable question now i also want to get the language from the combo box that a user will select so we got the question we got the language now we can search information from wikipedia for this question and in this language to search any information from wikipedia we have to install one external module so go to your terminal here type pip install wikipedia and hit enter i have already installed this module before so it says requirement already satisfied once you install it then you can import it import wikipedia inside this module we have some methods which will help us to set the language and to get the content from wikipedia so inside this function i'm going to use this module dot set lang method and here we need to pass the language prefix if you want to search something in french then you can set the language as fr for french after setting the language now we can get the web page for this topic so here i will write wikipedia module dot page method to this page method we have to pass the question or a topic so our question is inside this question variable and this will return us the page i will store that page in this page variable now we want to insert the content of this page onto my text area so inside this text area i will insert at the end the content of the page so let me show you if we are getting the content inside our text area or not let me search for some topic like python the language is already selected as french if i click on the search button we are not getting anything on this text area the reason is because the state of this text area is disabled so we will not be able to insert anything inside it until we make the state back to normal so before inserting i have to make the state to normal so firstly i made the state of text area normal and then i have inserted the page content now you will be able to see the content if i click on the search button so as you can see we are getting the content in french language once the content is inserted inside my text area i will again make the state of text area back to disabled so that we are not able to do any changes inside it and inside this set lang method instead of fr we have to pass the keys of this lang dict as you know this is a dictionary and inside this we had keys and values the keys were shorthand of the languages so we have to pass the keys here so how can we get the keys for the corresponding values for that i have applied this logic here what is happening here lang dig dot items will return all the keys and the values the keys will be stored inside this keys variable and the values will be inside this value variable then i will check which language the user has selected from the combo box if that language is equals to the value then we are going to 
set the language as the corresponding key which will be nothing but the shorthand of the language now let's see if i search about bill gates who is the founder of microsoft in let's say african language if i click on the search button so you can see here we are getting the result in african language so this is the functionality of the search button now let's see the functionality of edit copy and clear button so to this edit button i am going to provide a command edit so whenever you will be clicking on this edit button this particular command will be called right so let's define it so just after this search function i will define this edit function inside this edit function i have to make the state of text area back to normal so that we can edit the text right so i'm going to use the object variable dot config method and here i'll mention the state back to normal like this let's see if i search about fruits and i don't select any language so by default the result will be in english language now you will be able to edit the text from this text area so if you want to remove some text from here you can do that if you want to add some text you can do that i hope you are getting this and now let's work on the functionality of this copy button so whenever you will click on this copy button all this text will be copied to clipboard and you will be able to paste that content anywhere so for copying the text we have to download one external module so go to your terminal again here type pip install py per clip this is a module which will help us to copy the text i have already installed it once you install it just import it at the top here import py per clip now you have to define one function so just after this edit function i will define this copy function i have to call this function from copy button so whenever you will be clicking on the copy button this function will be called and inside this function i just want to copy the text from the text area so firstly i will get the content from the text area inside this content variable then i will use this piper clip module and the method of it copy which will help us to copy the content so after defining this copy function we have to call this copy function from the copy button so here i am going to provide a command equals to copy without parenthesis let's run if i search about internet in japanese language here we are getting the result in japanese language we can copy this content and we can paste somewhere so i'll open my notepad and i will paste the content here and if you want you can save it and at last let's see the functionality of the clear button so i want when i click on this clear button everything from this text area should be deleted everything from this entry field should be deleted and here by default select language should be set so to this clear button i am going to provide a command equals to clear and let's define this clear function just after this copy function so here i'll write def clear and to clear the content from the text area firstly we will have to make the state of it normal and then we will be able to delete the content from it and then again at last we will be making the state back to disabled so firstly i made the state to normal then i deleted everything from start till end then again i made the state back to disabled we also want to delete everything from the entry field and at last we have to set combo box as select language so that's it let's run if i search about india where i live in indonesian language and when i click on this clear button 
you can see from here and here everything is deleted and here select language is set so that's it we are done with this project i hope you understood everything let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions thank you for watching